And it's just a reminder for myself first and foremost and a reminder to you just to know that, listen, I've done that stuff for you, trust me. I've epitomized all of those sins, whether you want to believe it or not. You know, my oldest daughter is on her second year of college. I've been a father since I was 16. I left my house at 15. Last grade I completed was the eighth. You understand? I have a criminal history that I don't only get reminded of when I'm coming through customs. I'm so a mirror now, I forgot about him. It takes me coming through some type of like border patrol or something for them to be like, hey, what happened in 2004? What happened in 1990? You have I'm like, wow, I forgot about that guy. I just been on the mirror right now. I didn't even know that, that guy still exists. But the thing is, I've been a product of that environment. I've been a product of that environment. I spent 24 hours a day in my life for years living that way. And I wasn't at peace. I wasn't at peace. Doesn't matter how many hundreds of thousands of dollars I spent on cars and jewelry and things of this nature, it never made me happy inside. I used to have to live vicariously through people who didn't have. You understand? To me, it was a chain. It took somebody to say, oh, what kind of diamonds is those? Now I feel like, oh yeah, or these right here, is canary, these ones right here. Now I feel like I have something on my neck. And, I, and wallahi, many rich people are like this. Many of them. Worth $50 million, $100 million. You go to their house, they got a boat sitting there with seaweed, all kinds of stuff on the side of it. Boat ain't moved in three years. But soon as one of us come in, a layman, they ain't getting no money. We see it and they be like, oh, you got a boat. You never seen the boat? Oh, Sapan, I'm like, yo, listen, you gotta get your friends. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna take the boat out, we're gonna fishing, we're gonna skinny. Now he wants to live all over again, but the boat was just sitting there for three years. He's unhappy. The boat sitting there looked just as unhappy as him. Pool looking unhappy, leaves all, he's just unhappy. This is a gloomy place until someone comes in and then he wants to extract the benefit from it. Now he wants to call the pool cleaner. Now he wants to get someone to scrub the boat. Now he wants to invite all your friends and all y'all can dive off the side of the boat. I don't care if you ever come back up for air or whatever. I just want to live vicariously through you. This is what rich people do. This is their lives. But when you see the glorification of it on TV, you say to yourself, I want a piece of that. I need that. I got to try that. That car looks fast. Too many stop signs in Brisbane. You ain't gonna be able to really open up no Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You lucky you get the second gear. So fine luck. <laughs> but you want these things. But like I said, everything has an expiration date. 